Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is David Jams. For those new watching for the first time, welcome. Go subscribe to the channel. So guys, we thank God it's another day. It's another new fresh day. We thank God for that. You can't take it for granted. So guys, I want, I'm here today to share with you a very fresh episode and the, some good research that I've done and I, I feel like sharing with you. So I want us to go together. So today we're going to be talking about the why the Kiambu or Mount Kenya people are much hostile. Why Kiam Ke Mount Kenya people giving President Ruto and his team, or rather KK, government, Kenya Kwanza government, hostile reception. So I want us to listen and so that we go together uh, until the end. So this is according to my observation, my research I've done, and uh, I felt like sharing out so that you can help me share your views down the comment section. Now, the increasingly of late, the increasingly hostile crowd the president facing in you know from his support base is worrying. Remember it is a it started in Rift Valley and now Mount Kenya has also perfected the art of booing, heckling the leaders in front or rather in presence of President Ruto. The question is, people, have the people of Mount Kenya ran out of patience or they are just frustrated? That's a question I keep asking myself. I want you to reason together with me. Because for the past one month, the past one month, President Ruto has experienced the other side of Mount Kenya region that he did not know about the heckling, jeering, and booing side. Remember, the, resident, the president was a darling of the region in the run up to 2022 general election. Such that those, to an extent, those who did not associate with him lost the election. What, is that, what does that supposed to mean? Remember, whenever Ruto's name, that time, whenever Ruto's name was mentioned, youth, women, yelled in frenzy. Why? They could cheer him up. Why? Because of his ability to pull the crowds. But that has completely changed and stopped. I want you to ask, your, to ask yourself questions. So I want us to go together. I want us to go to, I like referring to the history so that we move on the same page. Having said this, I want to use some few examples so that you people can move along with me and agree with my point, agree with my research. That what I'm saying is likely to be true. true. Why? Why Mount Kenya are too much hostile? Why Mount Kenya giving President Ruto hostile reception? I want us to go together so that we can read on the same page. Can be on the same page. On November 19th last year, Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary uh, David Chirchir 
was heckled, booed, as he attempted to address the congregation in Bomet, in the presence of President Ruto. To an extent, when he, the CS, you know, tried to greet or even greeted people, the congregation, they started heckling and even refused to come down to let him address them. What does that tell you? Example number two. Nakuru residents heckled their governor in presence of the head of states. That was last month, January. In fact, they could not allow her or let her speak. And that happened, this happened in front of President Ruto. Two weeks ago, the president, during his three-day visit to Meru, if you always watch news, you will bear witness bear witness for this two weeks ago president during his three-day visit to Meru he discovered the other side of Mount Kenya through Meru, Meru people as agitated residents who would heckled governor Kawira Mangaza Though this time round, President himself, you know, lost his school by also, he, to an extent, he started shouting at these people at a rate, because this, this event was at a rate. So he, to an extent, he lost his school, trying to calm these people by shouting at them, telling them, you know, those guys, reminding them that they should desist from such behavior during the president's meeting. But they did not want to listen. Despite all that, heckling, booing, was still witnessed during the president's tour of Kiambu that was ended on a Friday. Just Friday, two days ago, forced Deputy President Gachagua to read the act, the riot act to the residents, to the people and the leaders, accusing them of hiring goons, hiring the crowd to cheer them and help all the opponents. Vitwa ground sea vizuri, things are bad. Nasamango vitwa ground sea vizuri. So the chaos and confusion that is taking place in Mount Kenya is worrying. Look, in Meru, the government is facing strained working relationship with MPs, while in Kiambu, 2027 game plan has already divided the leaders between the governor Kimani Matangi and National Assembly uh, leader Kimani Chungwa. So there's chaos in Kiambu, there's, cha I mean, there's chaos in Mount Kenya. There's a lot happening around that confusion. Why? 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 Back in Nakuru, Susan Kihika is having a draft. with politicians led by this uh, Nakuru senator, Tabitha Karanja, and former Bahati MP, and many others. So, Kunam Fugano, why there's that confusion? Something's not adding up in Mount Kenya. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, why all this? But I want to tell you, through my observation, this is my research. 
I did through my observation. And I want you to tell you why these people are hostile. The Mount Kenya people, number one, the Mount Kenya people feel betrayed after the President Ruto failed to implement campaign promises. President Ruto promised to these people heaven. President Ruto was darling to these people. I remember previously, I told you, whenever the President Ruto name was mentioned, youth, women could yell in a frenzy manner because he could pull the crowds that time, which is, I mean, water under the bridge. Now, number two, why Mount Kenya people are giving Kenya Kwanza hostile reception, especially President Ruto? Kenya Kwanza made Mount Kenya region feels like their problem had been, you know, caused by the former President Kenyatta through infamous state capture. Remember they had great expectations. These people had great expectations with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. And whatever they, you know, whatever the promise that they made has never materialized. So they had great expectations with Kenya Kwanzaa government. And whatever they are doing is just venting in front of there. These guys are just, you know, they look confused. They look hostile. That's why they're. That's why they're like behaving like animals, in front of the man who promised them the heaven, but never was. So, that's my observation. Let me know your views down in the comment section about the same why Mount Kenya people are so, so hostile.